Arena Sabalenka versus Donna Vekic is the fourth quarter final for the Australian Open for the ladies for 2023. And both ladies have been impressive to get to this stage. Vekic started the tournament off unseeded and would take on the qualifier, Select Mateva, in the first round. And after splitting the first two sets and multiple rain delays, Vekic would get through in a super tie break 6 2, 2 6, 7 6. In the second round, she'd take on the number 18 seed, Samson Oba, which was a super impressive performance. And with a big performance, got through in straights 6 3, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on Diaz, who had beaten Haddad Meyer along the way. And again, very impressive from Vekic, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on the youngster Fruvitova. And after losing the second set, she would come back to win in three, 6-2, 1-6, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. Sabalenka started the tournament off as a number five seed and would take on Martin Chova in the first round. And this was no problem for Sabalenka, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on the boogie woman, Shelby Rogers, who had beaten big names at slams before, but again, no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on former doubles partner in number 26 seed, Elise Mertens. And again, Sabalenka super impressive, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-3. In the fourth round, she'd take on her toughest opponent yet, the number 12 seed, Belinda Bencic, who was in great form to start the year. And after a very close first set, Sabalenka got through in straights again, winning 7-5, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals of Australia. These two have played six times before, with Vekic leading the head-to-head 5-1, which is crazy to think because Sabalenka, for the most part of their career, has been the higher-ranked player. And they haven't played since San Diego last year, where it was a three-setter, and it went the way of Vekic. If Vekic is going to win this one, she needs to move Sabalenka around. Sabalenka's been so aggressive at the moment in this tournament and this year in general, and she needs to get the first set. Because if she can get the first set and get inside Sabalenka's head, then maybe she can get through. Sabalenka's going to win this one. She needs to make sure she's aggressive from the start, and probably needs a first set as well. Because if she gets a first set, she's been on a roll in the second set. She's been running away with matches ever since the start of the year. So if she's going to do that, she needs to be aggressive and obviously serve well. This is a very fun matchup because you've got a player who's in great form and a player who's on the comeback, but then also someone who's got a very good record against the better ranked player. But I'm going to go with Sabalenka in three. I think this is just her tournament. I feel like she's playing so well right now and with so many things happening around her with big names falling, I feel like she's going to get through and win this one in three. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this match?